everyone today. Today we have Susie Rosenstein and she is a midlife coach and Yay. she's also a specialist in matzo ball soup. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Kitchen Sessions. Today we have Susie. And Susie, what do you do in life? What's your thing? I'm a midlife coach. So Susie believes that you can do anything you want at any age, and even be a rock star Which after twenty. So <laughs> that's it. That's it. I hate when people think, "Oh, I'm older, so I have fewer opportunities." Really, it's about opportunities at any age. Exactly. Exactly. Tell me about it. <laughs> so we're gonna chat a little bit today. Susie's spending the day with us. We're gonna do kitchen sessions. We're gonna do Facebook Live, which you will have already seen. So go back in time and look at it. And we're going to do a podcast. So in the description below, there will thank you, Congo. There will be a link to Susie's podcast. Well, she could tell them here too as well. Oh yeah, it's called Women in the Middle: Loving Life After Fifty. There you go. Angie, how does it feel to be fifty? Well, I'm I'm actually not. I'm forever twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> so Susie, what are we making today? Today we're making some matzo ball soup because everybody needs matzo ball soup even on Super Bowl day and even look, for sure in the winter. Oh my gosh. Because it's chicken soup, right? And it's really cold and snowy outside. Andy, take your Andy cam out and show us what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, but you know so the problem cold. guys, I'm already getting hungry. So guys, look at it. Uh, it's horrible. It's window. bad outside. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to you about your ingredients so you can go get oh. your ingredients. Okay, you ready? What's wrong with you? The thing <laughs> keeps breaking, I don't know why. Sorry, hmm. I'm sorry. Do you need water or coffee or tea? Um, water yeah. would be great. I would, I would love, love some water. There's water bottles still downstairs, right? Yeah, in the okay. laundry. So uh, I'm going to go get a water bottle. Anyway. We're going to talk about ingredients, and then you're going to go get them. And meanwhile, we're going to sing a song. Oh, yes, we are. Because are we? This is Kitchen Sessions. Right. We're going to be doing Leonard Cohen, Dance Me to the End of Love, because it feels to me like a Jewish folk song, like the ones that we played in Thornhill Community Band. Right. Which is where we met. We're exactly. Right. Although I have worked with your husband, who's also a doctor at the hospitals that I worked at. But I didn't meet you through him. I met no, you no. on my own because she's a kick-ass saxophone player. No. Right? Yes, yeah, she's and she did not bring her saxophone. No. <laughs> she's gonna rock that. a tambourine today. I was hoping she did. No, she can't no rock. can do. We're gonna, gonna rock a tambourine. She's here on. to focus on other things. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, so kitchen sessions, dance me to the end of love. Susie Rosenstein, Andy, Andy Kemp. These are your ingredients for matzo ball soup. So we are we have some broth. We are going to also make our own chicken stock with the chicken broth. Um, I got this particular one because it was on sale at Metro. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know what, I didn't want to sit and watch Andy chop right. onions. So that's a great that's off. bonus right there. These were a buck each at Metro today, and I'm like, oh, I, don't even, I never thought of doing that. It's so smart. You know what, I went I, I went there at 7 this morning. And that the, could save fingertips. Like, putting all this stuff out and I said, you have chopped carrots? Give me them. <laughs> Beautiful. And then we've got some various assorted the spices house. that I picked up. I don't know what we're going to use. Bunch of clubhouse stuff. We'll see. And then talk to us about this. All right. So I'm not getting any money for this, but we're going to be taking a wee little shortcut. So the basic thing with matzo ball soup is you got your chicken soup. You need a really delicious chicken soup. And then you got your we'll matzo balls. You and we're going to be doing the matzo balls is the fun part of the chicken nice. soup. Right? So um, we're taking a little shortcut and it's a mix. It's a matzo ball in a box mix. Um, this is my favorite one. Now you can, if you talk to a bunch of people who love matzo ball soup, especially a bunch of Jewish people who <laughs> pride themselves on making the perfect matzo ball soup, there's a few things that come up. One thing is which brand, and this is Croydon House. So I have never, call me a fraud, I don't care. The other thing is the matzo ball floating or sinking. Oh. So there's floaters and sinkers, and what in our like? family, oh, we like the floaters. I would think floaters. We yeah. like them. I think Chinese dumplings float. Well, what about Trinidadian dumplings float? Well, it doesn't matter for me. I'll just eat them if they're know, sinking or they they're float floating. Typically. I just want to eat them. All right, so we're gonna get you floaters. <laughs> so we're gonna cross our fingers for some good floaters Whichever today. way it goes, guys, so I'm here eating, I'm are eating. your ingredients. Do so, we are going to do a broth. We need a bunch of it because we're making a bunch. We, are, we decided to use chicken thighs because we want the meat to be tender. We don't want to dry it out in case it boils too long because we're busy. <laughs> we need 
And this carrots? is another whole Is this part how you of play it. the end camp? Yes, but tell them, the down. reason is is because we're trying to do these meals fast. You don't do this Ooh. with your camera. <laughs> yeah, okay, just focus. So, carrots, we're going to use some celery. Yep. We're going to use some onion. And you're going to have to chop a few things. Wow. Okay? That um, much onions? Yeah. Get I'm going to go the traditional poultry seasoning, which would be parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Love okay. It. Beauty. Stay tuned. And Andy Kemp, stay focused. Hey. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here we go. Matzo ball soup 101. Well, it's really just the matzo ball phase. So you take your Croydon House mix, or any mix, but remember, this one is the best one, in my humble opinion. And then you'll see two packets in here. So you decide, do you want 10 to 12 matzo balls or do you want to double the recipe? One large mixing bowl, two eggs for one bag, and a quarter cup of oil for one bag. So we're going to double everything and then you're going to be mixing it well and popping it in the fridge. Yeah, we got a couple of these for sauce in the summer, for tomato sauce. And then we're going to be rolling matzo balls. Oh, yeah. Rolling what? Andy likes to roll dough. We're rolling the matzo yeah. balls. Yeah, Andy likes to roll. <laughs> It really fine chicken. Well, here's another thing. <laughs> yeah. Some families want chicken broth with no. I was gonna say because I've had matzo ball soup before, yeah. and it had no chicken in it. But then I have had a hearty chicken matzo ball soup. Honestly, exactly. I liked it better. It really depends on your family. Mostly, it depends on your grandmother. Here's a little thyme. Here's some savory, just a little bit of that. A little savory. There we go. Well, one thing I did want to share today was I have a recipe from my Aunt Frances. Now, my Aunt Frances passed away in the last um, year or two, but she, it's so great when you actually have a uh, recipe that's in the actual handwriting of the person whose recipe it is. I would just encourage all of you guys to try to get a recipe in your mom or your grandmother or your aunt's handwriting and just pop it into your recipe file, especially if it was one of their favorite recipes. It's just so much fun to see. You take some of the broth, you throw it in the, with the veggies, and you steam them. Just and you just it speed it up a bit. Yeah, you just get them going. Great idea. Yeah. Come over here, Andy Cam. Whoa. What do you think? That's a gorgeous soup. It's beautiful. It's a hearty soup. I think it's going to be amazing. Oh, I've never made it before, so I know we're putting a little spin on it. But it's a little spin, but it's going to be delicious. Be cool. Yeah. You got to put a spin on things. You got to make them your own, right? Welcome back. So while we're waiting for the soup to cook and the matzo balls to chill in the fridge before we manhandle them or woman handle them, uh, we're yeah. going to play a Leonard Cohen song, which is Dance Me to the End of Love off of our Indie Gal Canadiana album. Be my home 
We're going to set up the uh, matzo balls for uh, dropping in the pot there. And Susie's going to prep them up right now. So she's going to show you how to do this really good. Okay, so if you recall, we added a goopy, uh, a goopy pile of matzo ball stuff into the fridge to firm up a little bit. So now we're just going to roll the balls and we're going to pop them into a pot of boiling regular water. It's a little salted, but that's it. And I do enjoy wearing gloves. Now there are some differing opinions on the size of the ball. As you know, now I've introduced you to several issues related well, to Well, you know, ball, ball size is important, right? <laughs> oh my god, you are right. <laughs> Just saying. So. This is the size that I want. You don't want them too small because they, they puff up. They puff up. So we're, there it is. It's just very simple. You add a little bit of oil to your hand or to the, to the glove and you just take a blob and roll it and then we're just going to pop it into the pot of boiling, rolling, bubbly water. Next step, we toss these babies into the boiling water. Amazing. So how long, Susie, do you have to leave these in? About 20 minutes. That's it. 20 minutes. Welcome back to Kitchen Sessions. We're going to assemble our matzo ball soup. Here we go. Handy cam in effect. All right. Look at those matzo balls. Here's Here's the soup. Delicious. Oh, right. wow. Chicken and carrot. Beautiful. And celery and onion. onion. Oh, my. And so parsley. Good. Beautiful. And herbs, right? Yeah, right. It's so good. Right. Okay. Mm. Hey, oh watch your hair. God. Go this way. We're going to matzo ball That's to the that. soup. Oh. So let's do. Now remember, some people prefer chicken soup without all of these goodies in it. So let's make it sort of half, like two thirds to one third. Some matzo ball soup, some of the boobies and moms like to have it just like plain okay. broth without So this is, this is a modified version. This is a 2018 version. Well, and this is also, my husband's family prefers it this oh, way, lovely. so. And then we just add a couple How of matzo many? balls. Oh, look at those. Well, I think How there many? should be at least two in this bowl. Wow. Wow. Oh, delicious. And that's it. There's your matzo balls. Beautiful. Woo. Amazing. Susie. Love matzo balls. Here we go. The moment of truth. Just savor it. So good. Wow. Perfect. Success. Woo. Delicious. Success. Success. Yay. Matzo balls. High We are going to yeah. Fantastic. So, thank you for Thanks. thank you for coming to Kitchen oh Sessions. Had the best time. It was Lots so good. Thank you. Soup. Amazing and guys. And a little bit of midlife coaching and, and a new tradition for Super Bowl, right? That's right. right. Super Bowl. Matzo ball, ball soup. Super Bowl. <laughs> Matzo ball. So good. Hey, that's it. Matzo ball. Matzo ball. ball. <laughs> yeah, on Super Bowl. See you next week for Kitchen Sessions. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Don't Bye. forget to check out Susie. SusieRosenstein.com. Oh, thank you. SusieRosenstein.com. Thank right. you so much. Thank you.